We're talking about African fashion today. No longer do we think of African fashion or African print as for the older generation, the old folks, our mothers and fathers and grandparents. No, it's not just for special occasions, but now it's become any occasion. <laughs> So here I am at the Vlisco owned print factory GTP here in Accra, Ghana. It's a vast place. We're just about to go inside and be shown how the print process works. The colors are spectacular. The process is very detailed. They use the old hand blocking method as well as new modern methods. I can't wait to see exactly what they produce. Yeah. Now, we, now we run here. We have the surface printing where we use the RSP. Okay. Uh, we'll see it and then we have the wax printing process. Ah. What we're going to see now is the wax printing so process. Wax, wax printing is like this? No. Or, no, this is one. This is uh, the surface printing that I'm surface talking about. Printing. Yeah. So, so the surface printing is you have it on one side, yeah. you don't have it double printed. I that get is too you. exactly. I get but you. for the wax printing process, we want double -sided. it double sided. Double sided. So that's what we're going to see at the moment. We're going to print on both sides of the fabric. So we have the design, we have it copper plated onto rollers for the two sides. So the fabric is going to run in between and these rollers are going to pick wax and transfer to both sides of the fabric. So that is how we, we, we get it done. Okay. Right, we are the um, hand printing section. This process you are seeing is unique to our factory in the whole world. I don't think there's any factory in the world that does this now. Wow, no, no factory in the world does this. This hand, what's it called? It's, it's a craft. It's a craft. A hand blocking, hand blocking. Yes, so that is what you see and I'm sure my, my colleague would give you the details exactly how it works. I'm standing outside the workshop here at the factory and I have to say from this factory, fabric is exported to other parts of Africa. So it goes to Benin, it goes to Nigeria, it goes to Togo um, and uh, to, to DRC and to different countries within Africa. So it's not just for fabric here, the demand is not just for African print here, it's across Africa. Mm. 